right, so here's my uh my little setup to run my water wheel over here. Zoom in. You can see the water falling off of a little flume over there on the water wheel. So what this is is just a uh it's a 12 volt 100 watt solar panel wires come down to this eco worthy solar pump controller i trim some of these bushes back oh uh, i had two of these i used this one for the for here and the other one for my little uh ac shop cooling setup oh uh, but i've tried to find another one of these and i cannot find them so my thoughts are that they've uh they've quit making these but uh but these little box these little things work good it's basically an mppt controller they call it a solar pump controller but but anyway you got your uh, solar wires coming through there you got way too much wire i need to uh got it all bundled up under there but it comes down through here and through there power in then you your battery hook up goes to this it's a 10 amp hour battery in these boxes comes with them you could uh you could add an external battery larger but and you know, get your on off switch and then right there is your power out that goes down to the pump down to this blue use the piece of pegs for a conduit and huh, i'm gonna have to fix that that's a little loose but We'll do that later on but you see where that blue patch runs down that goes under the ground through here it's under the ground and we'll go over here to, to this side and if you zoom in you can see where it comes out right there but it goes down into the water and you can see right over there that little piece of polytubing floating that pump that little 12 volt pump oh it's actually a well pump but it works just as good i got it uh, tied to a, a milk crate to where it sits off the bottom a little bit got it standing upright in the upright position just so it doesn't lay over in the dirt and get clogged up with mud and silt so it's standing upright your polytubing comes up runs through there i'm gonna i'm gonna sink that tubing later on because it's i don't really like that just sitting out floating like that that's a good way to snag a fishing hook oh uh, but anyway it runs over here and i Gonna run it along these banks here, but uh, I ain't this old frog I'm scared the poo out of him. But anyway, that's uh, that's the line there floating, which I'm gonna pull that back over here to the bank and anchor it down, sink it, basically do better than that. And a little old tree, half a fish bed. Water level is slightly low right now, but uh, usually them, them top limbs right there is underwater. But it, it's been dry here for the last month or two. We've had very little rain. But anyway, it's more bad. I said them right here, but zoom in right there. You can see my line, which, like I said, I'm going to fix that base won't have it where you can't see it and then this goes over here that is a willow tree section that is I had tied to a uh, to a brick and it was sunk back over near about right in there so i guess it has come loose 
obviously didn't tie that very good. That's kind of baffling. Hmm. But anyway, this floated back up and it's made its way over here to this wheel. But, but this little homemade wheel set up. Got some posts dug into the ground here. Or basically posts set in the ground. Then put these supports that's basically just sitting on the on the ground of the pond. Those two long posts there that the wheel is supported by. Those go down to the bottom and there's basically what I did was take two five gallon buckets and set those posts in those five gallon buckets and cemented them in. So that's basically just sitting on the ground level with two cement buckets. And in the way I got these A-frames support across there, it, that keeps it from shifting side to side. And then this is obviously anchored into the ground here. So these ain't going anywhere. These are solid as can be. But you can see the poly tubing comes up through here. It's actually this one here. This one is dang thing just shut off. But anyway, that's the one that was flowing. And base goes down the flume. I got to repair that little section there. Siliconed all that up. Where the water wouldn't leak but um obviously it'll leak right there but we'll fix that up silicone that up this other tube in here i've got it tied i don't know if you noticed over there on the other side that little pipe that comes directly from my well and that's a little spray fountain as well so i can turn well water on and add water to the pond and it's, it sprays up in the air, kind of like a, uh, not like a misting, but just like a sprinkler type deal. Kind of aerate the water as it's putting it in. But I got a piece of poly tubing tied into that that comes over here into this. So I can valve that in and run just well water to that as well. But I don't know if you can try to see here. little bearings got two bearings one on the wheel one on the uh the post got it set up like that on both sides so that's how it's spinning yeah. very low friction but basically it's a nice little decorative piece that circulates the water and adds a little bit of aeration you know it's nothing like what one of them fountain pumps or something like that you see out there that just spraying water four or five foot in the air that's just that's you know just a big fountain that's that's putting in way more aeration than what this is but it's still i mean you can see my pond it's very little if any right now algae growth during the summertime throw a little pond dye in it and with this right here i have very little or if any uh, algae growth so but a little pump pumps it's not a whole lot i want to say it's i mean it's very little it's it ain't much more than a garden hose probably oh uh, maybe three gallon a minute but it does the job and keeps my wheel spinning Nice little pretty view from the porch. But there you have it.